Hello, as you can see, the truck, the tractor unit is finished. I'll spin it around so you can see what's been done. As you can see, there's a lot of work there. Um, I've not been doing it full time. But it's taken me about three months to get to get to this point now. All of the bits are on, all the glasses on, the mirrors are on, the decals are on, and there's not a lot that I can tell you about this really. I as I mentioned before, I've made the cables for the, the, the back here, the, the winch cables one on each side. I made those from picture wire. I fabricated the winch cable for this one from two pieces of copper wire twined together. I'll show I think I'll show you a photograph of that. I think I've already done that. Nothing particularly difficult once you get to this stage where you're putting everything on. I put the lights on and originally unfortunately I couldn't take them off again you may be able to see that the lights underneath the canopy there are a little bit duller than the lights here and the reason for that is because when I put when I glued them on I left it the paintwork black underneath the canopy and that made the lights go very dull so I did some experimenting and I glued you get quite a lot of spare lights, so I glued a couple of them onto green green bits of plastic and the same thing happened, they went very dull. So what I did was painted the background of the light, not the light itself, but what it was going to glue onto, I painted that white and then glued the light on. And as you can see, they've come up quite bright now with that. Same with the, the beacon on the top here, it went really dull if it was put on with the uh, on top of the green paint you need to put a bit of white on there and anything else that was difficult not really all the lights on the back the same thing all the red lights the back there and they have all been back painted with white backed up with white so that they they're, they're more reflective there's a couple of little bits of paintwork to patch up on this yet but it's it's not much at all the camouflage i as i mentioned before i had to repaint the roof and prime it with a, a metal primer which seems to work quite well to be fair the, it's uh, fairly sturdy now, the, the, the paint work. The mirrors, I put the mirrors on, and as you can see, they even look fragile. They don't look very strong. I put those on pretty much at the last. To make the mirrors, the instructions suggested using silver paper, uh, silver paint. What I actually used was tin foil, silver tin foil, and then covered it with Gorilla Glue Clear. Worked really well. It takes a while for the, the Gorilla Glue to, uh, to set, but once it's set, it gives quite a good impression of a mirror. The mud guards on the back, these two mud guards at the back, were a real pain. They were easy enough to make, they're all photo etched, they're, they're made completely out of photo etch. This little bit here, and this little bit here, on the, uh, the original kit, there are two tiny little photo etch brackets, which I spent about an hour making up, glued them on, painted them up, everything's running well. They, they're on the first few pages of the, of the build. Um, they sit at the ends of the skis there, one there and one on the other side here. 
However, when you come to fit the mud guards into them, as tiny as the, the, the brackets are, they're massively too big for the bracket uh, for the, the, the bracket on the mud guard. So all that happens is the mud guard's going up and down like this, and there's absolutely no way to fix it into place. What I did was I took the, 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 the original brackets off and drilled two tiny holes into the, into the chassis member and then put the mudguard brackets into that, glued it in and it's fine now. Still very fragile, however they ain't going to come off anymore. Nothing else, uh, I've managed to get all eight wheels, I've seen a lot of videos of the, the, this build and there's, they have wheels sticking up all over the place. All eight wheels are in place, they all turn, and they're very, well, you could brum brum it if you wanted to, I don't see why you'd want to. Um, but all, all eight wheels are in place and all sit on the ground nicely. As you can see I bought a little turntable. I wish I'd have paid an extra three quid and bought one with a little battery motor in it, but there you go, you live and learn. I didn't, so I'm turning it with a knife. And we'll see if my darling wife will let me have a new one. There's not much else I can tell you about this. The camouflage, if you follow the pattern on the instructions, it works really well. You can do the winch gear, you can paint the cab and then the winch gear, and if you follow the pattern, as you probably see, it matches up really quite well with the, the the cab, the winch gear and the cab match up really quite well. The Susies aren't on yet. They've got to go on down here. This is a piece of photo etch at the bottom here. I forgot to tell you on the last video. It requires about seven bends. It's really quite difficult to bend. And when you have bent it, you glue it on and then it's really quite difficult to put the pieces inside it. There are two or three pieces that go inside it that connect the Susies and the electrical connections. They don't go on according to the instructions until the, the trailer is finished. I mentioned these two tubes a couple of times on the last, uh, on the last one. Um, I made them out. They're not, they're not been painted. That's the colour they are. They look, in my eyes anyway, they look realistic. They, it's a piece of um, silicon tubing with a tiny piece of copper wire fed down the min middle of it and you can bend it in, then glue it into place. It, it works really quite well. This platform here was quite difficult to get on. Um, not so much to get on, but to line it up to the brackets. You won't be able to see it. Yeah, you can. There's a bracket there and there's another one round here that are really quite difficult to stick together and put the, uh, the bracket on. Other than that, I've painted the, the little hoses, the air hoses to the, the airbags. They've, they've gone black as they would be. The reflectors, the decals. Um, I don't want to teach anybody how to suck eggs, but when I came to put the decals on, I, I lost about four of them. The reason I lost them was I bought a bottle of Humbrol decal fix and I read the instructions as you would do. The instructions said soak the transfers in decal fix. So I did. When you come to slide them off the off the backing paper if you've done that, the the decal disintegrates, it, it falls to pieces literally. It seems that the decal fix is, uh, has got a, a bile adhesive in it. What I did in the end was I painted a little bit of the decal fix on the model, soaked the decal in water, slid it off, put it into position, then coated it with decal fix and they don't loop like decals anymore, they don't loop like transfers at all, it's, it's really quite good. Um, those two, I don't know if you can see them at the back there, probably not. I'll put a photograph of those on. There are two tiny little transfers on the back there that say cab lift only, which are the the hook eyes, the, the eyes on the top of the, the, uh, the cab there for lifting it up. And 
the the rest of the transfers the one on the on the mud guards as you can see that was the last one I did with the the method that was described with the instructions and it's torn a little piece off the corner I may try to fix that with a bit of yellow paint I'll, I don't know yet and that's about it you can just see that cab lift transfer there but I'll put a, a transfer uh, I'll put a photograph of it on anyway it's about all I can tell you with that I'm I personally I'm really quite chuffed with it I, I know a lot of people that have built these models I've weathered them and made them look as though they've been out in the been to war basically. They were the, the battered and weathered and rust streaks and God knows what. I wanted mine to look as though I'd just come out of the paint shop, which is pretty much what I've done. The next bit that I I, I need to start is is the trailer. And that's where I'm gonna go. We're gonna start with sections one, two, three and four. Once those four are in, it's then going into building the body of the trailer. So it's the swan neck, uh, complete build on the swan neck and it looks as though there's an awful lot of tubing goes into that, so that could take some time. Any questions, as always? Good or bad? Any comments, good or bad? Questions? Put them on the, the comments area underneath. I'll give you an update when I start the trailer. Ta-da!